and just a quick look at my tomatoes, how well they're doing. I put them in deep pots, I planted them deeply, um, so that'll help them, because uh, as you know, the roots grow all the way up the stem. So if you have leggy uh, tomato plants, best to do this with them. Peel off the leaves uh, that you're going to be burying and um, then bury it up to, well, as high as you can get it really. These are the biggest pots I've got, tallest pots rather. They're the tallest pots. Um, and they'll be in here now for another month or so. Uh, so it allows me to keep them indoors for longer, I think. Um, and this is my melon plant, which we'll need to, I'll need to um, do something about that. Uh, put it in a bigger pot and put a big stake in it. Uh, but it'll be going out in a polytunnel soon too. So, and these are some of my sweet peppers. Uh, just growing them on the windowsill. They've had no lighting or anything. And they are a little bit leggy. But I believe with peppers you can bury them a little bit deeper. So when I repot them, which will be very soon. <laughs> my dog's messing about in the background. Um, yeah, uh, I'll bury them a bit. He's got a cushion. What he does is he picks up a cushion um, and he has a naughty face on him. And uh, it's it's a reminder that he wants a titbit. So he won't give me back the cushion until I give him a titbit. These are some more tomatoes. Uh, these are the bush tomatoes and they don't come on as fast as the the more prolific ones. But they're doing okay, as you can see. They're not, not in the least bit leggy. Um, and so they're benefiting uh, by having the radiator just below them. So, then I want to show you my giant triffid upstairs. Bear with me. And this is a giant cucumber that I've been growing in the bathroom window. I've just taken it out to let you see how, how big it is. So it's loving it in there. So now today I'm going to have to put it in its final pot. Um, and I don't think I'll get it in the bathroom anymore so it'll probably object to that. But um, already, if you can see, practically on every joint There is the start of the flowers and um, I believe this is an F1 variety, I'll have to check. But if it's an F1 variety I don't have to bother too much with it. Um, but anyway, that's my triffid. I think it's not the plant, I think it's just where it's been. It's been really warm in that bathroom and nice and uh, light and bright by the window. So. Hi folks, today is the 17th of March 2015 and uh, we've come down the allotment to plant sweet peas and normal peas and it's very warm today we've already done a row and Brian's doing a second row there and then we're going to net them he's putting some grow more in the hole then we're going to net them so that the birds, the pigeons don't have a field day uh, but I think they should be fine we'll water them in and I think they should be fine um, it's very very warm out here today very warm indeed so I hardened them off in the cold frame for about four days so they should be fine and if not I've sowed a load more so <laughs> I can always plant some more well you know in here, I've already sowed them. So there we are. That's a better view of it. All the sweet peas are in, and not all of them. Some of them. A minute now. Uh, just a minute, Brian. Yeah. Um, you're going to hear some drilling, folks. But I just want to show you what's happening. Right. Off you go.
deep enough, you reckon? Mm, a little bit deeper, because this other one's deeper. Yeah, that's better. There we are. So, that's a 20 millimeter deep um, wet. Fine. Okay, so that's step one. So that's four holes that he's drilled. One there, one there, one there, and one at the end. I'll switch off the camera. He's just demonstrating that, that it fits in nicely. Nice and snug. All of them, nice and snug. Like yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll switch off just now. We'll get back to get you. Do the, do the right, rest. folks. Yeah. We're down at the allotment. We've got all what we need uh, to do these cloches. Uh, just waiting for the workers to come back from the car. And there we are. That's the start of the assembly. Love it. I'm starting to assemble it up. All the hard work was done at home, so it's just the, the basic work that uh, they do up here. So, we're doing three of those today. Okay, having put the wood together, now they're putting the hoops on. Good job. <laughs> and so then the baton the goes top. on the top, yeah, right along the, the, the centre. It fits, does it? It's a little bit long. Yeah, that's all right. We can, easily cut, we can easily cut that off. How are we attaching that to uh, the pipe? Dad knows. You just got a, yeah, a screw, screw right. It in. A screw goes right we through. Small word screws. Yeah, I think he brought them with him. There we are. That's the top batten going on, just to keep all the hoops steady for when you put the net on, so that it doesn't bend. You want no, you don't want to do all of them first and then do the net. Yeah. There we are, they're just finishing off putting on the net. And still soon be done. And then we've only got another two to go. But we'll probably make up the other two, but we won't put the nets on until tomorrow because we won't really have time, I don't think. Ready, I'll... Um... I'll let you see it when it's completely finished. There we are, folks, that's the finished product. One down and two to go. Uh, we'll get the other two made, but uh, we'll have to uh, do the netting for it uh, tomorrow. Um, but I'll post this vid video anyway, because you don't want to be looking at the same thing. So, so that's one net for this one, and one net for the other one over there, because that's where I'm putting my brassicas. And then we've got a spare one, just uh, for whatever, you know. I'm sure we'll find some some use for it. So that's all for now, folks. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Bye. One last thought. Uh, it fits this bed completely, but we didn't plan for it to fit completely. It just does. Yeah.